In my video on prepositions, I discussed the fact that those little words are not only part of emergent literacy, also they're essential to the positional and spatial concepts that introduce young children to geometry. But as you know, geometry is also about shapes, and those shapes begin with a simple line. So in this video, we'll explore a variety of activities that enhance the children's understanding of all kinds of lines. What more fun way to explore the concept of horizontal lines and the positional concept of under than by playing a game of limbo? This modified version allows the children to go under the rope in any way they wish. Also, using a long rope and slanting it makes it possible for several children to participate at once and to succeed at any level. For linear limbo, you'll need a long rope and then two children standing holding the ends of the rope high enough to allow the children to walk under it. The rest of the children form a single file line. Point out that both the rope and the children themselves are in straight lines. As each child takes a turn walking under the rope, be sure to emphasize the word under, she or he relieves one of the rope holders who moves to the end of the line of children. After everyone has had a turn, the rope holders lower it slightly. When it becomes challenging for some of the children to get under it, the rope holders angle it, one child holding it at waist height and the other holding it as high as possible. The remaining children can go under it at any point and in any way they want. Follow that line gives children the opportunity to explore a variety of lines that they can see and feel. You'll need to post drawings of vertical, horizontal, diagonal, crossed, curved, and crooked lines in a place that children can easily see them. Then replicate those lines on the floor with masking tape, or you could use chalk. Beginning with simple locomotive skills such as creeping and walking, invite the children to move along the pathways created by the various lines on the floor. You can then change the skill every time the children complete one pass of all the lines. A more challenging alternate activity is to assign a different locomotive skill for each type of line. For example, straight lines could be for walking, zigzagging lines for galloping, and curving lines for tiptoeing. An activity called What's My Line provides more opportunity for the children to experience lines, and because it contributes to the ability to physically replicate what the eyes see, it also falls under the content areas of art and emergent literacy. Post drawings of straight, crossed, curved, and crooked lines. Discuss each with the children, assigning each its appropriate name. Invite them to replicate each with their bodies or with individual body parts. Name each as you point to it. You can later add divergent problem solving to this activity by encouraging the children to find another way for each of their responses. For example, if a child demonstrates cross lines with the arms, validate what you're seeing and then present, it, you present the challenge to find another way. In this case, the child's response might be crossed fingers or legs crossed at the ankles. Of course, straight lines aren't simply straight. They're either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. It's important for the children to, to explore and understand these as well. Post pictures of these three kinds of lines or use a jump rope to demonstrate them. Then show the children a vertical line and ask them to replicate it with their whole body. Can they make a vertical line with just one body part? Another body part? Repeat this process with horizontal and diagonal lines. Once the children have had ample experience with various kinds of lines, ask them to find some on their own with a game of I Spy. Chant, I spy with my little eye, a line that is curving, or diagonal, or vertical, or crooked, etc. The children then look around the room or playground, move to whatever they believe it might be, it's always best if there's more than one possibility, and take on the shape of the chosen object. Another possibility is to invite the children to paint the different kinds of lines in the air in front of them, first with a hand, perhaps holding a scarf or a ribbon stick, and then with other body parts. Can they use their feet to paint lines on the floor? And because I love cooperative activities, I also highly recommend inviting the children to create various lines with partners, or eventually in trios. As always, thanks for watching. To learn more about my work, visit www raypika.com and if you'd like a PDF with this script and these slides along with a bonus activity hover over media on the top banner and you'll see active learning PDFs and by the way you don't need a PayPal account to buy just a debit or credit card thanks